summer from the red carpet to the big screen this afternoon. But now, Shortland Street. Do you want to say sexual? Who says? As in, uh, no sex. I don't want to hear any more about sex. Not one word. And, well, quite frankly, it is nothing short of abuse. What are you saying? That you abused me. sex life? Y- yes, which I couldn't have because of your abuse. You mean us going on about it all the time? That, that's what's put you off? <laughs> not, not us doing anything we shouldn't have? No. You're not saying we sexually abused you? No, of course he's not. The, the boy's upset. Yes, he's just upset. All we've ever done is encourage you to express yourself. Oh, right, yeah. E- express yourself, huh? That, that's what you always do, isn't it? Mummy! Oi! And, and, and how did you guys express yourselves, huh? Walking around the house naked? How can I not be damaged? And, and what about all those times that I was in your bed as a kid? Who knows what was happening yeah, there? All we've ever done is showered you with love. There was lots of hugs and kisses, but you're saying we molested you. What else can you call it? Sex, sex, sex. That's all it is with you two. And, and do you know what? This place is nothing but a sexual cesspool. <sighs> Hey! You made it! Sure did. Nothing's gonna stop me now. Hey, nice paint job, bro. Yeah, I've been um, hard out since I knew you were coming. I could have left something for me to do. Wouldn't have minded the extra bucks. Oh, I didn't think. No, no, I was just kidding, bro. Um, do you want a drink or a kai? I could bust you up a sandwich. No, I'm sweet. Well, there's some DVDs here for tomorrow. Keep you entertained until school's finished. I didn't bust out of the joint just to sit around all day. Want to see Scotty and Neville tomorrow? Oh, and I'm going to need to pick up some new gears for the big interview. Oh, yeah. The more you were thinking. Hey, remember that time when we were busking at the mall with those wheelchairs and the security guards chased us? (laughs) That was sick, bro. We should get back into it. Busking. Team Lurks. Yeah, could do. We could make some good money. Let's jump something out tonight and then lay it down tomorrow. Man, first day out and he's got me on the job already. Come on, didn't bust out of the joint to sit around all day, did you? I was thinking we could just... Oh man, I've been waiting how long to jam with you, bro? Yeah, guess we could put some lines down then. Fuck it! Oh, tea. Definitely tea. Gerald, tea, No, no nothing. Good night. What? You can't go to bed like this. You need to talk about this, Gerald. When you're ready, of course. Well, you just have to let it out, Gerald. Uh, maybe we should let the girlfriend handle this. Come on, you. No, Gerald needs us. Not tonight, he doesn't. Night, you two. I'm so sorry. If only I had... No, forget about it. No chance, but I shouldn't be going on. We need to talk about... No, we don't need to talk. There has been more than enough talk for one evening. Okay, we'll just sit in silence then. And think about all the times your parents abused you. What? That's the problem, isn't it? You can't think of any. (sighs) Can you? No, they've always been touchy-feely. I think you'd remember if they'd touched you inappropriately. Look, you're the one who started this anyway. I know, and I'm truly sorry, but after meeting your parents, I just don't think they could do something like that. I really like them. Yeah, you would. Meaning what, exactly? Just that you've only met them for a few hours. I've had to put up with them for 23 years. Well, they are very free and open about sex, but in a wholesome way. It's not like this... Wholesome? What exactly is wholesome about it? Tantric workshops, teaching the kid about sex before he's even able to spell the word. Yeah, but you said you were okay about it. Were you not listening tonight? They are sex mad. Who knows what they're capable of? I I can't even bear to think about it. You are making all these wild accusations. No, no. They have ruined my life sex-wise. It's a fact. They're to blame. Fact. I'm never going to forgive them. How long did it take you to accept that you were a paraplegic? Oi, leave it! Sorry, just trying to help. Darling, you don't want to start with something a little less confrontational, maybe ease into it? No, that's fine. This doco is going to be awesome. Hi. Hey, home printer's broken. Everything okay? Our darling daughter's questions for Tane. Has this injury impacted heavily on what you want to achieve in life? 
this is pretty hard hitting. Yeah, well, that's the whole point of the project, to get honest reactions, raw emotions, you know. Maybe some of this is a bit too raw. Tano's able to handle it. What about you? What? His answers. I mean, this is an 18-year-old boy who's stuck in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. If I were him, I'd still be pretty angry. Yeah, but talking is therapeutic and all that. I mean, remember what Scarlett's lawyer said? Talking about the accident really helped her. So you're not just doing it for the assignment, you're also hoping to help Tane as well? I guess. What? You don't think you're biting off more than you can chew? Tane's got trained people to help him. He's going through a lot of stuff right now. He might not be ready for the tough questions. If you open the floodgates, he might not be able to manage it. So you're saying I should just forget the whole thing? Of course not. Maybe just go a little easier. Still in your head. Some of our best work, bro. <laughs> so, get a wiggle on, eh? Why? Well, if we get in early, we can get the blue studio, and that's the best one. The studio? That's cool. Oh, no. Nah. I've got to see Scotty this morning. Sweet. We can go after that, then. No, you don't have to come. It's all right. I got your back. No, me, you don't have to come. I can take myself around. No, I just thought you'd like some company. Like a babysitter. No, it's... Sorry. I was just keen to get into the studio. I don't want to be in the studio, man. You gave it music ages ago, you know that. Yeah, I know. But you should get back into it. You so should get real good, get an entourage, then you can pay people to wait on your hand and foot. Because I can't do things for myself? Well, I don't know. Just seemed like a sweet way to make the most out of it. Except I want to do things for myself. That's where Scotty comes in. I want to see if I can still be a nurse. Say it. I don't know, man. Don't you need to be able to walk to be a... Have you ever heard of support, man? Or, or encouragement? What about pity? No, I didn't mean to bring you down. So? Quit thinking about what I can't do. I do that and I've got no life. It makes sense, though, doesn't it? What does... Gerald being a victim of sexual abuse. Maybe Gerald's parents wouldn't hurt a fly, let alone their own son. Yeah, but they didn't deny it, did they? What does that say? It's too ridiculous to deny. No, that they actually did do it. I mean, that would explain his sexual issues. No issues, he's asexual, like you said. Oh, as if. There is no such thing, actually choosing to have a life without sex. He's not choosing, it's just the way he is. Just like you're a raving heterosexual and Maya's a lesbian. Or she was made to be one. Just like Gerald's been made to be an asexual. And I'm sure that he can be cured. Made one by his kitty fiddling parents, you mean? No, I don't believe that. And deep down, I doubt Gerald does either. Libby, we all say things in the heat of the moment we don't really mean. I know. I know, and he needs his friends right now, but... No buts. If he needs anything, he's got Morgan or his parents. Now, promise me you're going to keep your nose out of it. Ta. Libby. Got to get back to work now. Ciao. <laughs> well, at least they're teaching you something useful. Mm, too much spare time, which is why I've been thinking about what I want to do, job-wise. Oh, yeah? Mm. Any thoughts? No one. Come on, you know. I do? Yeah, you gave me the idea in the first place. Nursing. Right. Yeah, don't get too excited. Uh, sorry, you took me by surprise. Why? That the cripple wants a proper career? No. I was just thinking practically for a minute there. There are some things you won't be able to do, like um, lifting patients. You saying it's a no-go, then? I'm saying I'll look into it for you. So it's not impossible? Never say never, right? Hey! Hey! Get your cute butt here. <laughs> Three months, eh? No visit, no phone call, not even a stinking postcard. How was New Caledonia? It was great. Sorry, since I've been back, I've been really busy with school and trying to hey, find Don't worry about it, I was just kidding. <laughs> but you did promise to come and see me. No, I'm just kidding again. Uh, how'd it go with Scotty? Good. Tani's gonna be a nurse. Really? Yeah, we'll have to see. Scotty's looking into it. Olive said you might be DJing at the next dance party. Dance party? Sweet. Uh, you think you'll go? What's the problem? No problem, just they might not let you in. Yeah, they're really hard out. So? So you don't want some drugged up loser falling over you all the time? Yeah, they're not even that fun anyway. So I won't be seeing you there then? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess if you want Yeah, I do. I just don't want some old men taking along. Sorry. No, I was talking to me. 
I decide what I can and I can't do, okay? Sure. So you want a drink? Oh, I'll get it. Oh, I will. Hot chocolate, please. No, nah, OJ, okay. nah. Sweet. Oh, good. You're here. Oh, look, I'm sorry. I can't chat. I've got lots to do. Nonsense. So. Sit down. This is important. First of all, I want you to know that you're my friend, no matter what. Libby, stop. My parents did not abuse me. Then why did you say it? I don't know. I was angry. You were very angry. I've never seen you like that. Well, I just needed to vent. Anyway, it's all gone. No more anger. All gone? Yes. Back to where it came from? Meaning? Well, that it had to have come from somewhere. People don't get that angry without a reason. There was no reason. I, I just blew it out of proportion. Hang on. Maybe there was a reason, but you can't remember it because you suppressed it. No, no. What if it comes back? What? Your anger that came from nowhere. You have to deal with your anger, Gerald. I've been doing some reading and sexual abuse can lead to intimacy issues later in life. And maybe if you suppress those issues, then it can only just get worse. Anyway, that explains why you maybe don't want to, you know, do it. No, that is not the reason that I, I don't want no, to do it. There it's... is research to prove the connection. I'll show you. So all we have to do is dig up all those bad suppressed memories and then we can fix the problem. Gerald, wait, it's nearly finished loading. It'll mainly be about what you've been up to in the spinal unit. Rehabilitation, progress, anything with a positive message for young teens and spinal patients. That sounds nice. Uh, but you don't have to answer anything you don't want to. I mean, if you don't like a question, we can skip it. Or you can even have a look at the questions before we start. It's no trouble. No, no, you go for it, good. Tyler, good to see you out and about. Thanks. Yeah, so uh, things are on track, you doing well? Yeah, just thinking about what's next, checking up career options. Morning, Sunshine. Hey, flat white, thanks. Mm. So you're feeling better this morning? Don't, don't even start. It's all been handled. Good. So you called your parents? Well, I will, when I know what to say. Plain old sorry usually works. But I'm not sorry, not for what I said, anyway. Wait a second, are you saying you remember? Actually remember being abused? No. I don't know. I thought I was wrong. I thought I just said those things because I was angry. But then Libby said some things that kind of made some what sense. What did Libby say? Well, she said that I might be suppressing something and that I might be subconsciously angry about oh, it. Oh, yes, the anger. Because, I mean, I live with you and I see the uncontrolled fury all the time. Oh, now you're just making fun of me. No, I'm not, but... <sighs> Look, you're a happy kid, yeah? And you get on well with your parents now. Mostly. Well, if you'd really suppress something, you'd feel uncomfortable around them. Angry, but you don't, do you? I was angry with them last night, with all the sex talk. Yes, and maybe that's put you off sex. So you're not going to be like them, big deal. It's like that for most of us with our parents. But it's a bit of a leap from that to thinking that they abused you. Don't you reckon? Hey! Whee! <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> this is a low speed zone, sir. Sorry about that, officer. Might happen again. Can I have turn on my own? Oh, sorry, buddy. I don't get out of this thing. What about a sleep? Come on, Harry. <laughs> Tane needs a sleep. You good with him? Patient? Yeah, he's cool. Something you need as a nurse, patience. I've got something to show you. Blew me away. Oh, yeah? I have to admit, this morning I thought you were dreaming, but I found this guy on the net. First wheelchair-bound nurse living and working in the States. So he can do everything a nurse does while still sitting in the chair? Pretty much. I'll have to do some more research, but it certainly looks promising, especially since he's not the only one around. Are there any in New Zealand? Not yet, but there's always a first for everything, especially if you've got the determination to stick with it. Thanks. Mm. I wondered how you'd been, but amazingly, every time I called, Ivan said you are busy. Sorry, I just needed time to think. And? I was so wrong last night. I just got so worked up over them not accepting my asexuality that I blame them for it. But the thing is, they've always been the best parents. Tolerant, understanding, they've always said they'd either accept me gay or straight, but neither. The thing is, they would have come around eventually, but I just didn't give them the chance. I bet they feel as bad as you do. Talk to them. No, no. Mum will be on her second box of tissues by now and Dad will be running around in circles.
I'll get rid of them. Mm. Gerald? Gerald? Shush. Um, we know you don't want to see us, but... Um, no, 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 of course. I'm, I was just ringing to say I'm sorry don't, about... Don't say it. We don't deserve it. No, it's okay. Look, I know sex means everything to you, but it just doesn't to me, and I know that's a No, huge Gerald! Thing to... The truth is out now. You were right. What? You were sexually abused. I'm sorry. Damn. You okay? Yeah. I just keep thinking about Harry asking Tane all those questions, you know? Tane was so cool about it. Oh, well, he's strong, Tane. Mostly. Mostly? Well, his first trip out, we took him back home, and once the aunties saw Tane in the chair, they just lost it. Brought their eyes out for ages, and it really knocked him. Far out. I reckon. But he's better now? Well, he comes across all good and seems all positive, but I don't know how he can be stuck in that chair. Oh. Well, do you think he's going to be all right with this interview? Only one way to find out. Just... Just what? You'll be sweet. You'll know if you need to back off. Tony, could you please explain what your injuries were? I was damaged in the thoracic region of my spine. That's the part that controls the muscles around here. And I can't feel anything lower, so I can't walk, I can't stand or anything. It also means I have no control over my bladder or my bowels because um, the nerves between them and my brain were chopped, so I carry around a catheter. Cool. Uh, thanks, Tony. Uh, do you have any role models, anyone you find inspirational? Um, inspirational? I have no idea. Um, oh, the X-Men guy, you know, the one in the wheelchair, the one who reads the minds. Does, does he count? Um, Christopher Reeve, then. You know, Superman? Yeah, he never gave up hope of walking again despite the massive odds. But then he carked it. It's amazing he lived as long as he did. But things aren't as bad as that for you. No, oh, no, nah, he was paralysed from the neck down. It's way easier to see the see the good in my situation. But I have my bad days. Um, in the start, I didn't care about anything or anyone. I just wanted to end it. We will tell you. But that was then. Um, how about you tell me about your physiotherapy? What sort of exercises do you do? It was selfish of me to base my books on your sexual development. But I only did it because I was proud of you. You were always so together, so switched on. Uh, and that's why we thought you could probably handle the talk at an earlier age. Uh, in hindsight, we could have waited. And we probably should have put a stop to you coming into our bed in the middle of the night. But the mornings were such happy times. Not that anything inappropriate happened. I mean, it absolutely didn't. Wait, I... I thought you said you did abuse me. Uh, no, 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 no. But, but we were responsible. We stood aside while other people abused you. What people? Well, statistically, it's nearly always somebody you know. Your father was supposed to ring your Aunt Susan and ask I, I her... I will as soon as you call your cousin Tom and hey, ask Hey, hey, stop. Neither of them did anything to me. Nothing. Then it was Robbie. Who? Robbie. He had a home gym. You were always over at his place. There were nasty rumours that went around oh, about him, but please I... please, stop. No one abused me, OK? No one at all. We've all just got carried away, which is so silly, because I finally worked out what I was, and I was happy. Now, if you can all just get over yourselves, I can be happy again. I am asexual. But it's just not possible. Not liking sex. Well, I'm not the only one. There are hordes of us. Go Google it or something. I like who I am, and I'm not going to change. So you guys can just live with it or lump it. It's your choice. Do you think we need improved access for wheelchairs in Ferndale? Mm, probably. Um, and what's it like getting around in a wheelchair all the time? Hard. Sophie, are you going to ask any real questions? What's been the hardest part about becoming a paraplegic? <sighs> um, the blame, I guess. For ages, I blamed my friends for this. Mainly my best friend, Moo, the one who was driving the car that hit me. Um, also, other people who were around anyone who had a part in the afternoon but it wasn't anybody's fault it was a freak accident could have happened to anybody so the hardest thing for me has been letting go of that blame but what's even harder 
happens is that my friends can't let go of this. So turn off the camera. Sure. I thought you wanted to talk about this. <laughs> no, you don't want to hear the real stuff, what's actually going on. Just the happy stuff. So everybody feels good, no one has to feel guilty. Isn't this what this is all about? Oh, the longest goodbye. And I'm back to being the proud owner of an alpaca whatever waistcoat. You deserve a drink. Anything but honey mead. <laughs> hey, so now that my parents are sorted, I can finally come out. Loud and proud. No sex for me, thanks. That's great. Is it? Of course. I love you for you. But is it enough? Yes. Love without sex. You know it is. Yeah, you keep saying that, but then you keep searching for reasons why I'm asexual. I, I just am. There's no reason. I know that. But you wish there was, and a fix. It doesn't matter. Just because I don't have the urge doesn't mean I don't understand what it must be like for you. It's a big ask. No, I'm okay no, Morgan, about it. No, Morgan, seriously. If you can't do without the sex, then say now. And we'll be just friends. I'm just calling to how I see it. I know. I'd like to keep going if that's okay. You don't have to. I want to. Fine by me. So, you're feeling angry about what happened? Angry at me and Moo? I told you no, but I do get angry. Because there's things you can't do. There's a lot more that I can do than you guys think. Like nurse, go to dance parties. I know that now. So you're feeling pretty positive, really? Well, there is one thing. I'm not a guy anymore. Because why? Come on, you know why. I'm in a chair. I've got a catheter. It's not exactly a turn-on, is it? Well, is it? Come on, we're being honest now. So tell me, would you go anywhere near a guy like me? Of course you wouldn't. No girl's going to look my way, let alone have sex with me. How sad is that, eh? All I'm ever going to be is a saddle in a wheelchair. No, no, you're not. So why do you want to bore your eyes out, then? Don't mind me, feel free. And if you've been affected by issues raised in this programme, please turn to RTE Airtel, page 707.